If you are wondering how it's like going to be like as a teacher trainee, then this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to share with you how my day goes as a teacher trainee, what happens in a typical day as a teacher trainee. And I hope that it will be an inspiration and a preview into what to expect if you decide to become a teacher trainee. I'll show you both a day in my life for my lectures and going for placement. Unfortunately, I cannot show you videos in my placement because that is not allowed. So what I'm gonna do is just share with you what happens in that aspect. I can also share some videos with you walking to lectures, but not what happened in those because I cannot show that aspect as well to you, but I'll tell you details about what happens and what to expect just in case you decide to pursue teacher training in the UK. guys welcome back my name is Rita Siang I am an educator a public speaker and the author of your unstoppable I started my teacher training in the UK in the year 2023 that was last year somewhere September I started the training but my application was in June and then I went through an interview process and after the interview process we did uh, an induction course after the induction course we resumed studies in September we started our placements in the second or third week in september and so we were sent to our placement and we did placements three days in a week and then lectures two days in a week from there progressed to a point where we were having four days in a week and then one day lectures and towards the end it even came right down to teaching the whole week in the school so this is what you should be expecting in a day when i wake up in the morning i get myself ready then i get my daughter ready i go downstairs fortunately my husband has made breakfast so i just eat breakfast and you know take my things and then i walk to the roadside to get a bus join the bus and it takes me nearly an hour to get to oxford I have to join a bus to go to Swan School where our lectures happen. It takes me nearly 25 minutes of walk to get there. Unfortunately, the buses are not consistent. So if I wait for five minutes and it's not coming, off I go. I start my walk so I do not run late. Lectures usually start 9.30. So I have to be there before it starts. It has been a busy journey and it's been a lot, a lot, a lot of work. It's been a mixed feeling. You know, I'll say it's been a little bit stressful having to commute three hours on the road in a day when I'm going for lectures. But then when you talk about my placement, it is just in my town. My first placement was about 15 minutes walk away from my home. And my second placement is about 20 minutes away from my home. So I usually walk. That has been um, the commute about it. And I get to school, things I do usually is getting ready for the day. Mostly we do maths in the morning. I print out the resources that we'll be using for our maths lesson. I also write on the flip chart dates and title. And if there is any modeling I need to do in the maths lesson, I also model it down. And the next subject will be English language. So I also write the date and title. If there is a model writing I need to do, I do that as well. And from there, sometimes it depends on which day it is, Whatever subject it is, if it is art, I look out for whatever um, resources I need to. I gather all the resources and I put them together. Usually, I go there in the morning and do those because it's not too much to do. But then days that there is a lot to do, I make preparation the day before. When I close, I prepare everything, cut all the uh, mass resources down. And then I know that everything is set for me to just come the morning to do the petty little that is left when it comes to our teaching usually we have a brain break then we have maths practice and after maths the children go out for a quick break and when they come back from break we have english language and after english language they go for lunch during the time when the children go for lunch which is usually about an hour break as a teacher you also have that time to yourself to have a break but for me, because I like to prepare and be on top of my game, before the pupils come back, the next lesson is set and ready. What I do first is to just prepare my next lesson first, which will be after break, the afternoon session. I prepare them and get everything ready first before I go for my lunch. So usually I make the simplest of lunch, the simplest of lunch. 
sandwich, some fruits and uh, juice. That's all that I take with me. And the only time that I took real food to my second placement was the first week. That was just, and what is easy for me to eat quickly and then settle down before I go to continue the second part of the day is sandwich. So I grab my sandwich, I get some fruits, banana, usually grapes, apple. I have this with me and that is it. After lunch, they come back and then we have a, about 10 minutes of relaxing, doing just uh, something to calm them down, either mindfulness or anything to calm them down or watching a video about a lesson we've learned or a lesson we're going to learn before we start the afternoon session. The afternoon session usually starts with phonics, which is done in small groups. Then we go on to humanities. Depending on what subject you are teaching, for instance, if it is PSHE, I decide to teach the PSHE first before doing the art because usually art is more intensive and it needs more time. Something's going to be working with paint or whatever, or cutting or doing certain things that would uh, that would make some mess. So I put the messy stuff at the end of the day. And the children love that as well. When they know that there is something creative to be done at the end of the day, it makes it uh, worthwhile. <laughs> when the day comes to an end, when it's 3 p.m., we do reading. Uh, we read a story just to calm them down. They love the books so much that they enjoy it. So it becomes very, very quiet during that time. Everybody's being rapt attention. Sometimes when it's funny, they laugh out so loud. And it's good. It's a good moment to just, you know, relax at the end of the day and just take it easy before the parents come and then pick them away, take them home. So once they are gone, the other things I need to do then is to make sure that books that need to be marked are marked. Sometimes whilst teaching the lessons like mathematics, I mark the lessons within uh, whilst the lesson is going on, I mark. So not many books to be marked at the end of the day. And for the English language, it is more detailed. So you cannot mark all of it while circulating. So that's where I get to do the marking as well at that time of the day. Days like Thursday, I actually have what we call mentor meeting with my mentor, where we get to sit down and talk about um, the week. I have to reflect on the lectures that we had in the previous week. Um, then we decide on my areas of development for the coming week. And then I also reflect on um, areas of development that I had worked on in that week in the various lessons and how I use them. I have to reflect that to my mentor and then he would also go through and do his own reflection about my reflections or put his review of my reflections in there. The final thing we do is that we decide what lessons I'll be teaching the following week and how many hours I'm teaching. We are kind of pulled in gradually until you get to a point where you are more confident to teach all the lesson. And then you experience the whole workload of a teacher to understand and to know that this is what it's going to be like if you are managing a class on your own. Talk a little bit about my um, teacher training provider, just to inspire anybody who would like to train, especially if you are somewhere around Oxford, I would encourage you to check out Oxford Shared Teacher Training because they did such a fabulous work. They have no idea I'm even talking about them in this video, but hopefully maybe one day they'll come across it. <laughs> They did such a fabulous work. Their teaching was always research-based, which really helped us a lot. As a migrant who came to this country and have not schooled here, their teaching really is in the, such a way that it's brought out the best in me. They guided me in the way that I needed to go. It's a very inclusive um, institution where they provide support for everybody, no matter your background, no matter your religion, no matter your faith or no matter whatever background you have. Once you've decided to train with them, they give you the best of quality in their training. So I will encourage you to check them out. I'll leave their website in the description just in case you're looking for a reliable uh, institution to train with. This is an institution that has trained me and I feel more confident as a teacher. So I feel confident recommending them to you. I mean, they've not paid me to do this. I'm just doing this because I wanted to. It's a good institution and I would encourage you to check them out. And if you are living in Oxford, it makes it much more easier. You don't even have to commute too far to get there. And if you're living around anywhere around Oxford, still give it a try. You would really uh, enjoy their lectures because the teachers prepare very well. So when they come, they are giving you the best of the best. They've got lots of resources. They've got uh, virtual libraries, a lot of things that you need. They even have physical libraries that you can borrow books from. So I would encourage you to check Oxfordshire Teacher Training 
out. Once lectures are done, I have to walk back to Summertown and then pick a vehicle from Summertown back to family. And you know, at the end of the day, I am tired, but I am a mother, I am a wife, uh, I am a YouTuber. <laughs> So I have to put all of these things together and what took me through or what made me to be able to go through this is all about time management, prioritizing what's important, planning ahead and always being on top of my game, knowing what I'm doing and where I need help, I seek for help. And sometimes, even though it's hard for me to take a break, sometimes I take a break. That's the fifth thing I try to do in order to be still in physical shape to do what I'm doing and also make the best out of my training. So guys, this is a day in my life. This is how it looks like if I am going for lectures. And this is also how a day in my life looks like if I'm going for placement. If you are desiring to train as a teacher, this is what you should be expecting. It might be a little different from mine because of where you might be training and what their system might look like. You might be training in a university and it will definitely be different from training with a training provider. So this is it and I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope that you've learned something new from this video. If you have, then I encourage you to please subscribe to this channel and also turn on your notification bell so that anytime I have a new video up, you'll receive alerts from me.